Hi, so today I'm going to talk through how to set up your Kestrel 5700 ballistics wind meter. Setting up the Kestrel Link Ballistics app. Opening up the Kestrel Link Ballistics app, it will then come up with a couple of notifications. What we need to do is enable our Bluetooth. So we go to settings, switch Bluetooth on. We then need to connect the device. So click connect device, select your device. It will then have connection in progress and then authenticate. You now need to use your phone's GPS to update the Kestrel Latitude. Click on Update Kestrel Latitude and that will send the latitude to your Kestrel device. Click on Gun Profile Management to open up the gun profiles. As you can see we've got four already stored on this device. You can retrieve any stored gun profiles from your Kestrel by clicking on the Get Profiles button at the bottom of the screen. You can also upload new gun profiles to your Kestrel device by clicking on the Send Profiles button. What we do now is I'll just show you how you'd create a new gun profile. Click on the plus in the top right of the screen and then click into the name box, delete the old text and then type in a new name for your rifle. You'll then need to go to bullet data and select either factory ammo or go to the bullet library. In this case we go to the bullet library, select 264, Nosler, 140 grain RDF. The only option is Ford off, so we select that. Once we select that, that then adds the bullet profile. We then go down to muzzle velocity, so delete the old figures and then type in your recorded muzzle velocity, zeroing range, bore height, so again that's the distance from the middle of your bore to the middle of your scope rings, twist rate, just make sure that's correct for your rifle, your scope data, so in my case it's MOA, Underneath that we've got the muzzle velocity and temperature table. Uh, in my case I'm going to leave that blank because that data is unknown to me. So click on save in the top right and there you'll be able to see the gun profile that we just set up in the list. To send that profile to the Kestrel click select, select the radio button next to the gun we've just set up and then click send profile down the bottom. Obviously you'll need a live Bluetooth connection. How to calibrate your Kestrel's internal compass. You power on the unit by pressing and holding the little power button down on the bottom left. So we do that. It cycles through its startup sequence and it will give you the battery percentage. So what we want to do first is we haven't used the Kestrel for a little while, so we're going to recalibrate the compass. So we scroll down to compass cal and then you press the enter button. Follow the instructions on the screen. So you rotate, you hold the Kestrel upright, rotate slowly for 30 seconds. So ideally you need three revolutions and each revolution needs to take about 10 seconds. So I press start, and I hold it upright and rotate slowly. Okay, as you can see there, the calibration has now been complete. So that is the compass calibrated. As you can see, I've got my gun profile loaded in. So what I want to do now is go through target setup. 
setting the target range on your Kestrel. What we're going to do now is we're going to set up the target on the Kestrel. So you calibrated your compass, next thing you want to do is change the target range. So this time our target is at 250 metres. So I'll use the right scroll button. Oh, I've gone too far. And then the left just to go back. Fifty meters. Target set up. Then use the down button, scroll to target set up, press the middle enter button. So now we need to capture the environment. So this is using the temperature and the pressure sensors on the back. So press the enter button and then we need to swing the kestrel. So use the lanyard. Swing the kestrel until the temperature is stable. Should do it. And then press end capture, so it's 9 degrees C, end capture. Then point the back of the kestrel towards our target. point the kestrel into the back of the wind. So to find the back of the wind, you can use the lanyard. There you go. And press the centre button. The wind is coming in from 230, which is the direction, the WD wind direction. Wind speed one is the rolling average, so that's eight meters per second. And then wind speed two is the maximum wind speed, so that's 8.5 meters per second. So to confirm that, you press the middle button and then press the middle button again, and that will update your elevation and windage. If you note on the windage, that gives you two wind corrections one is for the rolling average and the other is for the wind maximum speed switching between gun profiles remember if you've got more than one gun profile on your kestrel you need to make sure that you've selected the correct gun profile so scroll down using the down button and there you'll be able to see each of your different gun profiles that you've loaded. So scroll to make sure you've got the right one, press enter and then scroll up and you're good to go.